In this video I am going to show you every way of shifting gears in Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's also available for American Truck Simulator, so you might as well use this tutorial for that game too. Now, not only we are going to talk about how to shift gears, but we'll go through all the transmission types available in ETS 2. First one is called Simple Automatic and as the name suggests, it's pretty simple and well, automatic. This one is usually good for keyboard players, because you don't have to select any gear, like drive or reverse, you just press W and S according to the direction you want to go to. You can use this with steering wheel pedals too, but I think it's a bit weird to reverse using the brake pedal. So if you have a steering wheel but still don't want to change gears, here comes the real automatic mode, which basically simulates the way an automatic transmission behaves. You select the gear, drive neutral or reverse, and it will shift gears for you. To select the gear, you have a couple of bindings for that. You can set two buttons or even two positions of the H shifter selector for drive and reverse. Also, I highly encourage you to enable the adaptive automatic transmissions if you use pedals, because when you press the accelerator less, the transmission will stay in a higher gear, but when you need power and press the accelerator fully, it will shift down and rev the truck for more power. Now, if you want to change gears yourself, there are two ways to do that. First one is the sequential shifting. You basically set one button for upshift and another for downshift and use them when your truck requires it. Talking about when to change the gears, it's pretty easy to determine, most of the trucks have an indication for that, colored in green and it's usually between 1000 and 1500 RPM. So it's best to change the gears in that range when driving in normal conditions. Back to the sequential shifting, you don't need a clutch pedal so you just shift by pressing the buttons. The second way is the H shifter which translates in a manual transmission with clutch. For this kind of setup you need a steering wheel that has at least 3 pedals and an H shifter selector, just like my PX and V10. You also have to set the bindings for each gear position accordingly, but my truck has 12 gears and the shifter only has 6 plus reverse gear. Well don't worry, real trucks also don't have 12 positions on the gear shift and use some switches to solve that. To simulate this in ETS2 you have to set up two buttons for the shifter toggles, which in my case will be on the shifter unit. But before we get into the shifting itself, you have to know how to operate the clutch. I won't go into any details, I will just give you a couple of tips when it comes to driving it. To get the truck moving, press the clutch, select a gear, by the way if the truck is empty it can even be the second gear or higher, now you have to press the accelerator and slowly release the clutch accordingly. This can only be achieved by practice, so here is a good example on how to do it. To change the gears, press the clutch, release the accelerator, select the next gear and repeat the process. Now let's get into the different types of H shifter configurations in ETS2. The first one and the easiest one is called range. So this is how a truck can have 12 gears and the shifter only 6. By setting the shifter toggle button, you can shift the first 6 gears normally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, hit the toggle and now your first gear is 7, second is 8 and so on until 12. This is an example of range shifting.
The second one is the splitter, which has the odd numbered gears first, like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11. Hit the toggle and now you have the even numbered gears, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. Here's an example of splitter shifting. The next ones are kind of similar to each other but in different configurations so I am going to show you the Scania 12 speeds as an example. This is the way a real Scania driver shifts or at least it used to because you can no longer get a manual transmission on a new long haul Scania truck. Anyways you have three main gear positions plus reverse of course situated like this. But it basically has 12 gears by changing the range and the split. So here's how you do it. I will show you the gears and the buttons I press on the screen. And that's it, now you can drive a manual truck in ETS2. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section, so until the next one, stay tuned.